Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm so glad that we are continuing to be able to do these devotional videos, and I hope that it's become part of your routine as it has become a great part of ours that we get to do this and reach out and incorporate others in doing them. And uh, I just hope that you're sharing this and it's beneficial and that uh, we can continue to grow in Christ through this. And so, um, as I'm sure you are aware, this weekend is the 4th of July weekend. And that's a time that we gather with family and friends and have cookouts and barbecues and remember and celebrate the freedoms that we enjoy here as a country. And um, I am very thankful for those who have served and are continuing to serve to protect those freedoms. Uh, my dad uh, was in the Navy and he was on nuclear submarines for eight years. Uh, my brother-in-law, Andy, is down um, at Paris Island right now and he's actually in the process of becoming captain of a CB unit and I appreciate so much the time and effort and sacrifices that they've made to uh, allow us to enjoy the freedoms that we have in this country. But I want to propose a question to you. What would happen to our faith if those freedoms were somehow taken away from us? If the nation that we know and appreciate and enjoy didn't exist anymore? Because that potentially could happen. And so what would happen if that went away? Where would our freedom be found? And moreover, where should we be setting our sights on what the freedom is. And so I'm going to read a piece of scripture for you. Um, and this is in 2 Corinthians um, about where our true freedom lies and who provides that. So this is 2 Corinthians 3 and it starts in verse 12. Since then we have such a hope. We act with great boldness. We are not like Moses who used to put a veil over his face to prevent the Israelites from gazing steadily until the end of the glory of what was being set aside. But their minds were hardened. For to this day, at the reading of the Old Covenant, the same veil remains. It is not lifted, because it is set aside only in Christ. Yet still today, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over their hearts. But whenever a person turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. We all, with unveiled faces, are looking as in a mirror at the glory of the Lord, and are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. This is from the Lord, who is the Spirit. And so if our freedoms were taken away that we enjoy so much here in the United States, um, where would we be finding our freedom in? Where would we be looking to um, have our hope? And it says it right there. It's from the Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord gives freedom. And where He is, there is freedom. And so I want to encourage you. Yes, enjoy the freedoms that we have. Celebrate uh, this exciting time of 4th of July weekend, have cookouts, get with family and friends, uh, and enjoy this wonderful weather. But even more so, let's spend some time and thank the Lord for the Spirit who gives us freedom, true freedom, and share that with somebody. Don't keep it secret. Share that freedom that you have. We all know the freedoms we have here in the United States, but there are people probably your neighbors right next door to you that have never heard the freedom that you enjoy in Christ. And so let's share that. Let's have a great weekend and let's change people's lives for eternity. We'll see you later.